Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can add pop-up pictures to an EPUB. I've got four pictures on my desktop right now and when I tap on them they open up with the image viewer and if I hit the right arrow they step through all four of them and they recycle. The thing you do is hit a limit and they go full screen. Same thing but now there's no border. If I hit escape they go back down to the small size. Uh, another alternative is to go full size window but in this case each picture is of a different size of course if you want to enlarge temporarily one of them you just hit the plus or minus key on your 10 key and so forth escape and that closes the whole thing I want to add this capability into an EPUB such that all of the pictures in the EPUB will show if you've got a hundred pictures in an EPUB you might want to step through them for some reason this is only one way of making a pop-up I am going to now open up a, a blank LibreOffice Writer file and I'm going to create an EPUB. Here's the title and this is going to be in red chapter 1 and this is the text in chapter 1. Control 1 is the header. That's going to be chapter 2, T for text. Control 1, chapter 3, T for text. I've got four pictures but I'll stop there. I'm going to go up to chapter one past the text and I'm going to add in these pictures. So I go down to insert image from file and I'll put one in one. And I'm not going to place the images exactly in any manner. I've shown how to do that in a prior video to make them go left, make them go right, center and resize them and so forth. I'm going to now put two in two and then I'll finally put in three and three and then save the file. Here's three coming up. Insert image from file three and three and here we go. Okay then now I'm going to save this control s save and I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm going to just call this one and its final name will be one ODT and then I can close the file. I'm going to now convert one ODT by means of the program caliber into an EPUB so I'm going to add one ODT and this really doesn't it just prepares it for conversion. Now I'm going to convert it and my output format is EPUB rather than MOBI and it takes a second. When it does put it in I notice it changed the name here to default so instead of being one ODT into one EPUB is going to now say default EPUB. There it's done, so I can diminish this file. I have to go get it. And I created a caliber library bookmark in my Nautilus. And here let's open this up. And I'm going to control C copy. And I'm just going to throw it on the desktop. Control V. Diminish Nautilus. I suppose we could look at this thing now. Let's go ahead and look at it. I'm hitting enter and it takes a second for the e-reader viewer in tab to open. Uh, let's go to the very first page. In fact, the cover title page. I'm, I'm right arrowing it. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3. And that's it. But I want to be able to tap on those pictures and have them pop out so that I can step through and look at all of the pictures. And the way I'm going to do that is this is just one way of doing this. I'm going to use Sigil. And first I've got to open up this EPUB because Sigil can only work with EPUBs. And there it is. I've got it in there. I am now going to look at each page here and uh, that is the title page here 
and I would like to step through and look at each single one but I've got to go to view and I've got to go to uh, da -da 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 -da, table of contents that's not it yes here we go that's one that's two and that's three I'm gonna go to code view and here this might be tricky to see so I'm going to enlarge it I'll put it in the top right corner and then zoom in oh that's too much zoom there that's a better zoom and I'm gonna go down just past the text and here's the text and I'm gonna hit enter let's put in a paragraph left arrow P right arrow left arrow a H ref equal and I want to put in this same picture I'm gonna have the same picture in there twice shift key control C copy control V paste right arrow left arrow image alt equal quote quote space source equal control control V paste right arrow now I go let's see if I remember this correctly it's a very tricky left arrow space a right arrow left arrow space uh, slash P right arrow control s save oh it says I didn't do it right looks right I'll take that let's see if it worked diminish I'm tapping and it's going to show the EPUB page one chapter two two pictures gee whiz I'm tapping nothing's happening I'm tapping Shazam. Is that or what? This is Sid Mead, and that is his vision of the future, maybe 1962-ish. Do you see those strange animals? I don't know what they are. Cover. This is a cover of Astounding Science Fiction magazine, later renamed Astounding Science Fact and Fiction, later renamed Analog. The painting is by Frank Kelly Fries. He did a lot of paintings for Mad Magazine also. He also worked for NASA. The story by Paul Anderson. He is he has passed away. He is the father-in-law of an equally now famous science fiction writer Greg Bear. Paul Anderson wrote the story Call Me Joe from which the movie Avatar was taken about a man in a wheelchair who had a mind link with an artificially created being on the planet Jupiter who found love on Jupiter. Right arrow. Again, Sid Mead. That's a neat looking house. I just keep stepping through. I hit escape. I close it. I close it. I'm back in my EPUB, left arrow. Now, I did not put anything in here that indicates which one to tap on, did I? You can do that if you want to, and there's many, many other ways of doing this. My name is Pop, and I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics, and I thank you very much.